So, uh, in this video, I'm gonna talk about uh, something that I've been interested in before and I've uh, been thinking about a little bit lately. And it's the issue of atheism. I'm pretty skeptical of atheism because I think it's a very weak position. The main reasons why atheism is weak is because the, it creates a concept which people will have a tendency to identify with and which will keep them in a antagonistic position towards religious traditions. And there is a lot of value in many parts of the religious traditions. Another problem with the atheism is that it is perceived as fundamentally speculative because it indicates that they have to some extent made up their mind about the probability of the existence of God. But the existence of God cannot be understood through prob probabilistic considerations because we don't even have a notion of what God means it is the ultimate mystery it's beyond all our data and all our comprehension so all our evaluations about what's probable and improbable is just local subjective speculation that has absolutely no validity in face of objectivity. So the problem of atheism is that it suffers from the fact that it's it's not a term which effectively expresses total neutrality in the question of does God exist, is there something to this? It expresses an attitude which asks for evidence without any idea of what that evidence would actually be and seeing the absence of convincing evidence as some kind of evidence of absence this is a fundamentally flawed position because we cannot conclude the non-existence of God based on our local data and we can't even make any estimations of probability about the existence of God as long as we can only base ourselves on limited local data. So we don't have any intellectual reasons to make assumptions about the likelihood of whether there exists a God. First of all, because we don't even have an idea of what the word God means. If it means something that is eternal, infinite and super intelligence, then this must mean that it per definition is more than any of us can understand and it is therefore per definition undescribable. It has to be undescribable and it has to be incomprehensible. And this is where we have this expression, a God of which I could have any idea would not be worthy having as a God. So the question that always troubles the atheist is the question, why are you assuming anything at all? when you yourself admit that there is no evidence and there is not even any clear idea about what the question is. If you agree with that, 
isn't it then fundamentally problematic that you adopt a position which assumes the non-existence of this something as the default position. In other words, if you assume an attitude where the absence of evidence should lead you to the conclusion that there is probably an absence, what rationale supports this? Come on, man, this is speculation. You've said it yourself, you see it yourself. It's the same kind of speculation that these other people have been criticized for. It's to speculate about the probabilities of something completely unknown existing based on insufficient evidence. Evidence which is only local. So the problem with atheism is that what does atheism have which agnosticism does not have? And I mean it doesn't help trying to pretend like agnosticism doesn't exist. Agnosticism is a cultural meme. It has developed through culture. It is a meme which expresses total neutrality to the question of whether or not God exists. And I know that some people have made up a theoretical model where they have four boxes and they try to make a, uh, an issue out of how agnosticism has to do with knowledge and not belief. And that's just a theoretical trick because that's a model that doesn't have a neutral position. It tries to actually get rid of agnosticism by saying that there's two types of agnosticism. It's atheist agnostic and theist agnostic. But where's the agnostic? Where's like the good old agnostic? Hey, hey guys, I see you made a model here, but like I have a distinct memory of a time when there was this nice little position. I really liked it. It was just called agnostic. And it was nothing from there, nothing from there. No, no, it was right in the middle. It was called agnostic. There was nothing before it. There was nothing after it. It was just that beautiful AG word. And we didn't care whether it referred to knowledge or faith. What we cared about was the fact that it signaled that we had not made up our mind. We were totally uncommitted. We were looking at the whole thing, we were interested in the whole thing, but we had not made any commitment whatsoever to any of those two polarized sides. We were right in the middle. That's where we want to be. And I'm sorry to break the news to you, atheists, but you're not getting rid of the agnostic position. And that four box model is totally flawed. You have to have a neutral category. If you don't have a neutral category, it's bogus. You can't expect people to have to make the choice that either they believe in God or they disbelieve in God when we don't even have a clue what God means in the first place. That's the big thing that they always underestimate. We don't even know what God means. For some people, God means this image of a guy sitting in the clouds with a long beard, micromanaging all the events in the universe. Others look at God as some greater being which is kind of similar to us and where our universe 
is like a particle inside of an atom, inside of a cell of that bigger body. And that in that sense, that bigger being is superior to us, but they don't actually even know the details of our existence, even though they understand perhaps what our function in their general system is. And then there's notions of God that sees God as a psychological potential, that that is the potential of the human psyche, that we could develop a higher understanding, a greater intelligence, and that that intelligence is represented by the idea of God. Then there's the idea of God as the multi-universe, as some universal, endless, infinite constellation of something, which however in its totality has an infinite degree of intelligence and life and continuous evolution for an eternity, etc, etc, etc. So there's all of these different definitions of what God means. Now if you define yourself as an atheist, and if you say that an atheist is simply someone who does not believe in God or gods, are you really saying that you're positioning yourself as someone who does not believe, actively not believe, in absolutely all of the possible meanings of this word of God. Do you, really, do you really want to commit yourself to a position where you initially reject every single version of an understanding of the idea of God? just rejecting it. Now if you do that, you know, it's your choice. But if you do that and at the same time talk about scientific evidence and burden of proof and that you should, you know, justify your assumptions that I'm really interested in hearing what you've got to justify your assumptions to reject all the possible ways that the idea of God could refer to something real and something meaningful. Once again, why not just go agnostic? Just say, I don't know. I don't have any opinion. I'm not exactly sure what you mean. I've seen many meanings. Maybe I'm a little interested. Maybe I'm more interested in some parts of it than others. But I ain't gonna draw any conclusion. That is the alternative. And that is where atheism comes across as a weak position because it gives this impression of having made up one's mind about this. It's kind of self-limiting. It writes all of that stuff there off. Maybe could be value to it. Maybe it could be a different value from what we have thought so far. And if that's a possibility, then this atheistic position is a serious self-limitation, which is not rational by any standard. So, this is something that I've been 
thinking about for some time and um, it's worth making a video to say a few words about it but it's really not something that I really want to nag about too much I mean, I, it's not something that I personally want to talk about so much I would never touch atheism, you know, with <laughs> a long stick I think it's a deeply problematic concept for many of the reasons I mentioned but it's also very understandable that people use this concept because there's some crazy fanatical religious directions there and it's natural that people want to make a more powerful message to say that we don't fucking buy your crap and I can see that, that that's a motivation but it is a deeply problematic concept in many ways because it kind of throws the baby out with bathwater, sort of rejects in principle everything associated with religion even though in my opinion there's obviously there's great value in many of the religious traditions in many many ways it's an incredibly rich cultural tradition that we should not reject all of that uh, it's been misused in a million different ways like everything else that has value but to reject the whole thing outright that is a big loss and it's also a big loss for the scientific rational mind to get into a perspective where you assume to know something about something which is obviously unknown and to put yourself in a speculative position so therefore to sum up this my thoughts about atheism is that atheism is a very understandable response to a lot of crazy beliefs but it is a deeply problematic position because it indicates a rejection of everything associated with religion where a lot of that can be very valuable and from a scientific point of view it indicates an attitude of believing that we are in a position to conclude about the existence or non-existence of something which is unknown based on only our subjective data and understanding and we cannot make any such conclusion and we cannot make any rational evaluations of probabilities of the existence or non-existence of God as long as we don't even know what the word God means And in my opinion, this is one of the most underestimated points of the whole conversation about religion and God and the possibility of higher existences. The fact that we don't understand what it could mean. And therefore, none of us are in a position to conclude. We all seem to have this in common, that we just don't know. And everything has to be considered possible. 
this I wish everyone a good, beautiful month.